and welcome to another episode of Adobe Tips and Techniques. Today we're going to talk about the history brush and uh, specifically how to turn an image into a black and white and then using the history brush bring back a specific amount of color. Now any of you that are not familiar with the history brush, this is the brush here and it's located on your toolbar and basically what it does is it's another way of um, reversing different things that you've done in Photoshop so just before we go into the technique I'm going to show you so you're familiarized or you're familiar with the tool say I had uh, grabbed my eraser and erased out the middle of the image like this I had used the clone tool and I had copied a portion of this chimney and for whatever reason decided to put it up here. Now you can go back here to your history and you can click on each one of those points and you can eliminate them or you can switch down to the history brush and just quickly eliminate what you've done. Okay, um, put that at 100% and see and then I could eliminate what I've done. So that's basically what the history brush does. It allows you if you have done say 10 or 12 or 13, 14 different state changes and you need to only just correct one thing if you were doing retouching on a face for instance that's where the history brush comes in very handy for that sort of thing. But today what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of what the art history brush or the history brush does I'm sorry and we're going to just take this picture, convert it to black and white, and then bring back a certain amount of color. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Adjustments, and I'm going to click on Desaturate. I don't want to change it from an RGB file and lose my color, so that's why I didn't go and just change it to a grayscale. I actually just desaturated the color. I select my art history, or my history brush, sorry, and I'm going to change my opacity and let's just drop it down to about 35 percent because that should give us just a nice amount of uh, of color when we shade this back in and now what i'm going to do is again using my square bracket tools which are the handiest shortcut for changing the size of your brush i'm going to just quickly paint back in the color on the buildings okay and i'm going to eliminate things or i'm going to try to stay away i should say from the automobiles because I don't want those colors interfering. All I want is just the colors of the building. Okay, we're going to go right across. Try, if you can, to do this in one mouse click. So in other words, don't unclick your mouse and re-click it again, uh, especially if you're going to go over another, at the same region because what will happen is at 35% the next time around it would add that much more density to your color and change that to 70% and that's not what we're trying to achieve here basically what we want to do is just bring back the color. You've seen this before in things like uh, the groom's boutonniere where it's just the red flower. This is the sort of technique that that's used on. So there I go, I've got the buildings. Now just for fun to add something a little more to my black and white, what I'm going to do is if you noticed on the original color there was quite a bit of color in the water from where the reflections were. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to color that back in too. And I'm actually going to go over it a second time. So I've unclicked my mouse and I'm clicking it again just for a little bit more density in the water just to add the contrast to the picture. Okay. So there you go. In a few clicks of the mouse, I have gone ahead and desaturated it to a black and white shot, used my history brush and brought back just a touch of color. This is a really fun effect, especially if you enjoy uh, colorized images or just bringing back specific amounts. Go ahead, give it a try. I'm sure over time with a little bit of practice, uh, you will perfect it. Remember, one key note is drop down your opacity a little bit. It makes for a much more pleasing result. Thank you. Thank you.